Okay. Uh, I think this should be our last topic for this particular chapter. A discharge under falling head uh, or variable head. But I chose falling head. That's somehow scarier. <laughs> falling head. That's what happens when you uh, take your exam, right? Yeah. So heads literally falling. <laughs> so falling head or variable head that is the opposite of constant head we have discussed this the constant head before it's our first topic okay um, when the head or the height above the orifice or it can be a tube or it can be any opening okay is constant no the head above that opening is constant now in this case uh, we're going to discuss uh, a falling header what if the head is variable that means the, the height of water or the liquid above the opening um, goes down as it really at is it, as it is being released you know, yung liquid inside the tank so usually we solve for the time uh, needed or the time uh, needed to lower the height of, of the liquid from a certain lower height okay so or the time to empty the tank Okay, and we have uh, several uh, many, uh, several cases in your modules. I will, I will no longer um, derive the formula that would somehow prolong our discussion. Uh, anyway, the details about the derivation, I think, hindi um, lamang intindihin yung, yung derivation ng formula natin. So, so, for the time to lower the height of water from a certain height. Okay, um, the time, <laughs> to solve for the time, we have this formula, uh, times the integral of ASDH, uh, CD over CD times A, square root of 2GH. So our limits would be, of course, the height, no? from our initial height to the second, from initial height, not him. actually, dapat from initial height to, um, each one dapat ito and then this would be h2 but it would give us a negative time and we can't have a time that is negative we cannot travel through time that's why we have interchanged the limits in the equation okay so that's from h2 to h1 na to. although in reality dapat that should be h1 to h2 so it should be h2 to h1 because uh, h2 most of the time is uh, lower or lower in value than h1 okay that so that it would give us a uh, time that is positive although okay na naman na from h1 to h2 but that would give us a time that is negative okay? and we can't have a time that is negative so to solve uh, as is the area of cross-sectional area of the tank and uh, area here is the area of the orifice or the opening CD would be the coefficient of discharge it can be uh, an orifice a tube or any opening basta meron siyang coefficient of discharge okay so a uh, and it should be and this is the general formula general formula <laughs> that it so general formula natin, it it can be used to any cross section. Okay, it is used kapag yung cross section ng tank natin is variable also. The head is variable and the cross section also changes relative to the change in height. So abang bunga baba yung liquid, nagiiba din yung <laughs> cross section ng uh, tank. So we would definitely be using this particular. Uh, formula. Now, if the cross section is um, constant, just like for example, kapag cylinder or rectangular parallel pipe yung container natin, the cross section AS, yung AS natin, uh, let's say this is circular, yung AS natin is constant all throughout the length of the container, then we can uh, simplify this formula and arrive with this for, for this is for constant cross section
constant. Okay, kapag constant yung cross section, we can use this formula to solve for the time required to lower the height of the liquid to a certain height. And uh, although we can also use this, naman, uh, we'll try to use both formulas later on in a particular problem. That's it. And I think we have other conditions in your module. Meron pang ibang mga conditions doon. Uh, please try to <coughs> look into those uh, con other conditions na lang. But uh, generally, we will just be uh, using this particular uh, conditions. Okay? So, yan. I just try to solve some problems to illustrate how to solve for the time. So, usually, yung time lang ang sinasolve natin dito. Okay? Time to lower the height of the liquid to a certain lower, to a certain height. Or time to empty the tank whatsoever. Alright, let's try to solve the sixth problem, illustrative problem. So a 1.5 meter diameter tank, 3 meters high, contains 2.5 meters of water. A, it's a cylinder. No. A 100mm diameter sharp edge orifice is located at its bottom. Assume CD is 0.6. How long will it take to, to take to lower the level to 1 meter deep after opening the orifice? So, we have a cylindrical tank. Merong orifice at the bottom of the tank. So, we're going to lower the level of water from... 2.5 to 1 meters okay so since the cross section would be uh, is constant relative to the height okay yes goodbye Carl Jade <laughs> you are uh, yep. on yes why <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the cross sectional area of the tank is uh, constant all throughout the height. So we can use the modified formula for a constant cross sectional area na tanks. Okay. So the formula natin. Time is equal to 2AS. Okay, square root of 2G times square root of H1. Yes, we have H2. Okay, we have many interruptions. Anyway, so let's solve for the each item in the formula. So AS, uh, AS is a cross sectional area of the tank that is equivalent to. We have pi, uh, 1.5 meters in diameter of tank squared over 4. So we have an AS equal to 1.767 square meters. And then we also need to solve for the area of the orifice. The area of the orifice is equal to pi. We have 0 0.1 meters squared all over 4 and that is equal to 7.84854 7.854 times 10 raised to the negative uh, 3 square uh, meters and we also know that h1 is initial height then is 2.5 uh, meters and then h2 uh, we're going to lower this height to 1 meter deep so we have 1 meters so we simply directly substitute that to the equation or formula and it's equivalent to 2 uh, as is 1.767 square meters divided by cd which is 0 0.6 area of the orifice 7.854 times 10 raised to negative 3 square meters times square root of 2g 9.81 meters per second square <laughs> nakasha hindi na lang ilalagay yung unit 
square root of 2g 2 times 9.81 okay times square root of h1 h1 is 2.5 minus square root of h2 which is 1 uh, meter so we have uh, times equal to uh, 98.391 98.391 seconds to lower the height from 2.5 to 1 uh, meter so 2.5 meters to 1 meter so that's the time required to lower the height of the tank to 1 meter uh, height of the water plash the height ng tank height of the water from 2.5 meters to 1 meter Okay, uh, we can also solve this problem using the general formula. If you can still remember that we know that T is also equal to the integral of uh, AS DH all over uh, CD A squared of 2GH. Our limits would be H2 to H1. Okay, we can also solve this using... Uh, the general formula no? so we have t is equal to uh, as natin is uh, AS natin, <laughs> 1 1.767 square meters so we no longer put the units uh, uh, dh over c that's 0 0.6 times area of the orifice is 7.854 times 10 raised to negative 3 square meters yan times uh, 2 gh square root of 2 gh 2 times 9.81 times uh, h yan. and then our limits would be to uh, 1 to 2.5 so 1 to 2.5 oh i think tama uh, sulat ko so we have A, S, D, H, C, D, area of the orifice, 2, G, H, and then the resulting value would be 98, 91 uh, seconds also. Although there would be some sort of uh, discrepancy, pero konti malit na yun. So minimal quantity yung, yung uh, discrepancy kasi medyo na ground tayo ng values. Okay, so... That's it. You can also use the general formula to solve this particular uh, problem. Next is to solve for the time to empty the tank, letter B. And then I would be erasing this. Erase ko na lang to. Okay, so for the time to empty the tank. So that means H2 is equal to uh, 0. Okay. So it's simply equal to... Okay, I have 2... AS is 1.767 I will no longer put the units uh, divided by 0 0.6 times the area of the orifice 7.854 times 10 raised to negative 3 still in square uh, meters times square root of 2G that's 2 times 9.81 okay, times square root of H2, which is 2. Uh, H1, I should say, 2.5 minus square root of uh, 0, our final, since we are uh, going to empty the tank. Okay, so the time required to empty the tank is equal to 267.698 uh, seconds. So the time, that's the time required to empty the tank. Okay. And you can also use the general formula to solve this problem. Okay, let's try to solve this using the general formula that is t is equal to the integral of, we have as dh by cd a square root of 2gh. Our limits would be from h2 to h1. Okay, h1 in this case is, uh, I mean, H2. H2 in this case is uh, 0. So the time is equal to uh, A, uh, AS is 1.767 7.67 DH divided by CD 0 0.6 
Your area of the orifice 7.854 times 10 raised to negative 3 square root of 2g h okay the limits would be from 0 to 2.5 so we have 2.5 there so the time is equal to of course they should be the same 267.698 seconds okay so you can uh, choose which formula to use kung yung general formula or the derived formula for this particular condition so whichever is the solution that you prefer then that would still be correct naman okay so that's it that's for number six then we'll, we'll proceed to the last problem in this in this chapter okay maybe i can we can uh, discuss that on a separate uh, video na lang okay